Hi guys, today we're going to look at a problem uh, in two dimensions with momentum. So a 0 0.5 kilogram ball traveling at 3 meters per second strikes a 0 0.8 kilogram stationary ball. The 0 0.5 kilogram ball then travels at an angle of 30 degrees to the original direction and the 0 0.8 kilogram ball travels at an angle of 60 degrees to the original direction. Find the final velocity of both balls. We're going to use two equations here. So the first equation is m1u1 is equal to m1v1 cos theta 1 plus m2v2 cos theta 2. And that's all to do with the momentum in the uh, x-plane. And the idea that the momentum in the x-plane is conserved. And then secondly, our second equation is 0 equals minus m1 v1 sine theta 1 plus m2 v2 sine theta 2. And that's taking into the idea that the momentum in the y-axis is also conserved. Now, the original ball, the 0 0.5 kilogram ball, is not moving in the y-axis. So that's why we've got 0 at the very beginning. And we're taking going down as being positive. So m1 v1 sine theta 1, that's going to refer to the 0 0.5 kilogram ball after the collision. And then m2 v2 sine theta 2 is going to be what's going on with the 0 0.8 kilogram ball. Okay. So here, what I've done, I've uh, got the momentum in the x plane. So I'm using my equation m1 u1 equals m1 v1 cos theta 1 plus m2 v2 cos theta 2. And I'm just going to put the numbers in. And the only thing we don't know is V1 and V2. So I've got 0 0.5 times 3 is equal to 0 0.5 V1 cos uh, 30 plus 0 0.8 V2 cos 60. Okay, simplify this. And I get 1.5 is equal to 0 0.43 V1 plus 0 0.40 V2. And then looking at momentum in the y plane, well, I've got 0 equals minus m1 v1 sine theta 1 plus m2 v2 sine theta 2. And I've got 0 equals uh, minus 0 0.5 v1 sine 30 plus 0 0.8 v2 sine 60. And then when I simplify this, it becomes 0 equals minus 0 0.25 v1 plus 0 0.69 v2. Okay, move the V1 over to the other side and times both sides by 4, and I get V1 equals 2.76 V2. Now all I need to do is solve the simultaneous equations. So I've got 1.5 equals 0 0.43 V1 plus 0 0.40 V2, and I know V1 equals 2.76 V2. Okay, and I'm going to substitute uh, my V1 uh, equation uh, into my first equation and I get 1.5 is equal to 0 0.43 times 2.76 v2 plus 0 0.40 v2 equals 1.59 v2 in total. Okay, uh, divide both sides by 1.59 and I get v2 is equal to uh, 0 0.94 meters per second. Okay, and then I know well v1 is equal to 2.76 v2 so 2.76 times 0 0.94 gives me 2.59 meters per second. There we go. Solved. Okay, guys, hope that was useful and not too complicated. Goodbye for now.